Hey collectors, we have a box of half dollars and we have a bunch of Eisenhower dollars. What's going on? Only one way to find out and that's to stay tuned. Hey collectors, thanks for watching. I'm the collector of coins and we have another coin hunt for you. My bank had $9 worth of Eisenhower's. They threw in two half dollars and they got me a box of halves as well. I want to see if we can fill up my Eisenhower dollar album and try to complete more spaces in my half dollar albums. As you know, we're on a quest for silver as always. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, please take this opportunity to subscribe. Most of my viewers are not yet subscribers and you guys may be missing out on alerts when I post new content, particularly if you like my content. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start with the Eisenhower dollars and we're gonna be looking for any varieties. Got my microscope here. I got the, the, uh, the Eisenhower dollars. I'll bring you in as soon as there's something to see. And of course, I'll show you if we fill any spaces in this album. Well, collectors, I haven't really focused on Eisenhower dollars. I bought this album a long time ago, put in the two that I had. So I'm hoping to fill quite a few slots here today. That being said, there are some varieties we're gonna look for. I'll bring you in as soon as we see one. All right, collectors, so we're gonna take a look at these together. I have four from 1972. And I already have a 1972, wouldn't you know? But there is a variety uh, called the King of Ikes that we'll be looking for, where there's a dyed gouge underneath the N in In God We Trust. Um, oh, I think it's also known as a type one dollar. We'll look for that. We got two of the bicentennials, so that will fill one of the spaces in the album, which is nice. And we'll look for any varieties there. We got two from 74, which I also needed. And this one's in really nice shape, to be honest. That one looks uncirculated. And we got 1978 that I needed. All right, we'll take a look for some varieties. Stay tuned. So this is the fourth and last 1972 Eisenhower dollar looking for the die gouge underneath the N in In God We Trust, and none of them have it. So uh, we have the, the type two, not the type one. This was the only year of varieties of any of the dates that I have, but hey, at least we fill up some album spaces. So let's get that, let's get these dollars in the album, and then we're gonna move on to the half dollar hunt, hoping we can strike some silver. And there we go, that's a pretty nice sight, filling up a bunch of spaces, three to be specific. All right. On to half dollars. Okay, well, we're gonna get this box open, but I'm gonna put the camera down to open it. Stay tuned. Okay, so we got two enders that are marked, which means that those coins have been looked at before. And I'm not seeing any silver on the top. We will look at the reverse of these or the other side of these Rolls in a minute. One of those rolls looks a little short, to be honest. What's going on there? Seem to be missing some money. All right, well, we'll crack these open, and I'll bring you in for anything that we find, like not issued for circulation. It's like after 2002. And any varieties or anything cool. Like maybe a proof. Stay tuned. Well, on the 71D, we're looking for double die... Uh, imprint on the eye and we don't see it we only see um, a damaged eye and so we'll look at the 72 so in the 72d we're missing looking for the missing initials of the designer and as you can see we have slight um, actually we have some of the initials showing so it's not fully missing but you can kind of see part of it is missing let me show you what the initials look like on one that has it fully. Okay, those are the full initials. So the last one we looked at, you can still see the G, um, but it wasn't missing. No variety found so far. Hey, we're into roll three, and we have our first find of the hunt. A NIFC, not issued for circulation, 2009 out of Denver. We'll see if we need that for the album as well at the end. We'll check at the end as well. Roll 8 gets us our second find and second NIFC of the hunt, 2014 out of Philadelphia. 
A collectors, roll 14 gives us two more finds. NIFC 2005 from Denver and a 1971 proof from San Francisco. A collectors, before we crack into this next roll, we opened up the roll that was a little short and it was missing five half dollars. Anyway, we'll move on to this one. A collectors, well, we're just a little bit past halfway through with this box. We still have the four fines. No silver yet. Fingers crossed that that luck is going to change. Hey, collectors, just a quick check-in. Ten more rolls to go. Let's see if we can find any more that we need. Hey, collectors, this is a first for me. I've come across an all-white machine-wrapped roll. Normally, the Loomis rolls look like this. This is in the same box. Maybe it's the end of the paper. I don't know. Maybe that will change our luck. A collector's roll 45 had another find, another NIFC. This one, 2013 from Denver. And in roll 46, another NIFC, 2012, also out of Denver. All right, collectors. Well, we're going to wrap up this coin roll hunt. We found a total of six finds, one proof, five NF NIFC, and three of those NIFC will fill spaces in one of my albums. We'll pull those aside, maybe for other collectors. All right. As always, thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and happy collecting.